like that. Follow this tutorial and you'll figure out how to make this. <laughs> Obviously, this tutorial is this flame here, this light up flame that uh, lights up. Um, in this tutorial, you'll learn everything you need to know to make this. Um, if you guys are better with text, though, um, picture and text type tutorials, um, there's a link in the description to my DeviantArt. It's a link to the uh, written tutorial version of this. Um, I did it half a year ago, maybe. Um, I want to say a little more than half a year ago um, but uh, yeah that one is a text and picture version um, versus this video version um, I didn't have this up to make the video version before so um, I'm doing it now so uh yeah uh, let's get right into it I'm gonna point the camera down on my desk and um, I'll show you guys what to do all right so here's the materials you're gonna need and uh, we got so to start off we got a um, glue gun just a regular glue gun um, with some glue sticks. These don't actually go to this, but they work in it, whatever. Um, wire cutter and wire. Um, we're gonna need to cut the wire, obviously, for the right lengths. Um, this light here, um, mine's blue. You guys can use whatever colors you want, um, but match your fabric to your color. Um, this doesn't actually match, but it's but they don't make purple ones of these, um, so I have to use blue. But it, it looks kind of purplish. Uh, when it comes through because the blue and the white and the purple make um make it look a little more like a light purple which is what i was going for so um this um i usually buy them without the uh, fiber optics here um the bulb is actually right there um but you just push the button and they light up and these ones i like better than the party city ones these ones are actually really strong they stay on and it looks like the batteries uh stay in place better on on these ones i don't know maybe there's different company that makes them but um yeah and then you're going to need some organza. We got white and purple. You can use whatever color you want. Um, if you want to make red flames, I would get like um, like a light orange, maybe, and then red, and then use a red light. I have red lights actually, so that work too. Um, or if you want to make blue fire, you can put the blue here. You can use blue organza, um, but make sure it's a uh, this really super see-through stuff um the uh don't need that don't need that mm -hmm. don't need that not yet anyway um so if you want to use blue then use blue organza whatever whatever uh, you get the idea um so i'm just explaining here what i did with the organza um so the organza comes in on the big bolt so what i did was i made four of these but um let me uh the measuring tape and measure it for you. The purple is 18 inches well, by 16. I didn't do it, you know, the best. But um, what you want is this. So roughly 24 and roughly 24. That's all that matters because these four corners are the top height. So you want those to match at least. So mine are 24 by 24, and that will look like that. This is a uh, 12 inch tall uh, flame. You can see it's uh, 12 inches there. Um, so and this one is actually the reason I'm making the new ones. The the light is kind of all over the place here. It uh, it broke um, when I pulled it off of my scythe that I had it on. Um, it it uh, came undone, and I can't open it to glue it, so I have to make a new one. So, um, organza is expensive, so be prepared for that. Um, you're, you're looking at, if you don't have coupons, roughly like 30 bucks for all the organza you're gonna need, depending on how many things you're making. Um, I got two yards of organza for each of them. I got two yards of white and two yards of purple, and it was 30 bucks. <laughs> but I had two 50% off coupons, so I got them both for $16.99 to their, um, their original price of, for one yard, so I got the one yard price. But, um, yeah, so just make sure that these two match diagonal. Uh, same with the, the white. So this white one I have roughly 18 and a half inches there. 
roughly 18 and a half inches there. It can be off by like a half inch or so, it doesn't have to be perfect. So you can pretty much tell where your center is, it's roughly there, it doesn't have to be perfect. So what you're going to do, is you're going to get two white, and this depends on how diluted you want your uh, flame to be, how, um, how bright or how dull you want it to be. If you want a bright one, use two white and one of your other color, or if you're doing a red flame, two of your bright orange or yellow and um, one red. But um, this one I'm doing uh, the same as that uh, light, uh, flame you saw over there um, that I threw that way. Uh, that one uses one and two, so one purple and two white. So what you're going to do is cut out two of the same ones. And I actually did this on the fold, so I only had to do one cutout. And I accidentally made four of these, and I don't need four. But um, I'll just make another flame and put it on something else. But um, so there's that. And what you're going to do? Uh, my lights on the ground. What you're going to do is you're going to make sure the length of this wire. Here, let's use this one as an example because this one isn't uh, finished. So you're going to take most of that length, not the whole length. This goes from. Doesn't, doesn't fit the whole length um, and you're not going to want it to because you're going to have to dab on top of here for hot glue to make it stay together so you don't want it to be the whole length you don't want it to be over length either that would be terrible um, so what you're going to do is this one's already finished you're going to take this you're going to twist the wire up and this is just how I do mine you can do yours however you want if you have your own twisting method, go ahead. Whatever you do, don't favor one side over the other. Don't take one side and wrap it around. Because that side will get shorter and not go all the way through. So you have to go kind of equally. It's kind of an annoying slow process, but it's a process nonetheless and it works. And it, it should work because I've made seven of these already. Not including this one. This is going to be the eighth one, and then if I make another one, it'll be my ninth one. All right. As you can see, I accidentally made one a little bit longer. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, that's not a big deal because it's like a millimeter longer. So, straighten that out as much as you can. Let's see if I can do this here. Close enough. All right, and then it goes straight across like that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna start up your heat gun because it's gonna, you know, take a minute. Let's put this, move my, my, my uh, mouse there, my lid. Let's put the mouse over here. All right, so let that heat up and then do your second one. And straighten it out. go it's close enough it doesn't have to be perfect like I said and these that one's actually a little too long so now that I've noticed I will oops grab the wrong one I'll cut that a little more it's still a little long A lot better all right so um, if you can get this thing off of here uh, like that I did it that's what you want this thing will be annoying on it you don't want that on it so they also come with these little things here to attach them to your fingers uh, so that you can uh, do your little rave thing with them yeah well I don't want that on there. That's annoying. Take that off. I have no idea where I just threw that, but I don't care. So, nope, the gun isn't uh, ready yet. So I'll be back when the gun is ready. 
All right, and we're back, and this is all heated up. So, going on to the next step here. So the next step is a little, a little more difficult. So we have to move those. Remember where the center is, and if you have to, you can mark it. But I kind of have a um, uh, a fold right there, so I can tell where the center is. Um, but you're gonna have to make it so that these can go off center a little bit because you can't have them in the center. Um, or this won't be able to get put down. So what you're going to do is you're going to dab a big, big dab of glue on there. Not a small one, a big one. You'll see. Put it right near the center or as center as you can get it. And then I'm going to get another glue stick. The one I threw over here. And put this in there. Like I said, I don't know if these are even the. No, they look the right size. They look. Yeah, they're the exact same size, so these should go in here. And then you're gonna add glue as you go along around the edges. Alright. Get off there. Awesome. Didn't even use any of that glue, but it helped push the other glue out. All right. So once you do that, you're gonna have to figure out where these are gonna go. So this is gonna go right around right there. Bend it that way. Make a thing so that it goes around it. See what I'm doing here? So what you're gonna do? Is you're gonna oh, I need to put the glue stick back in there because it's gonna end up using it now. I'm gonna use a. A lot more glue right there. That's where that's going to sit. Put this in there. Oh, it's not very flat, so put that in there just like that. And then we're going to let that dry. Yeah, this shit is why music is a good idea. So get yourself one of these. This bad boy right here really good speaker um, it's iLive so it's like an Apple product I think but um it plays iPods like around the same uh, volume as a stereo does so I highly recommend using music while you uh, while you do this because this is a long boring process um, or have like Facebook open or something so you have something to do while you're waiting because this drying process takes forever all right so it's almost dry I guess um, or cooled I mean I should say cooled um, so we're gonna we're gonna go with uh, the other piece oh there's glue all over this um, we're gonna go with the uh, other piece let's straighten this one out a little bit more or find out how it's straightened the most all right go to the center do our thing it looks like yeah all right this one you're gonna do the same thing I'm gonna put a ton of glue down and then set it down into the glue and this one I didn't use enough glue so put a little bit more on there so it covers it you're gonna need more than enough glue trust me Oh, and while you're doing this, notice I have this um, piece over my desk. This is literally just a piece that I have over my desk. It's a clipboard, actually there's two clips on here, the giant clipboard. Um, I'm using this because if you notice, it's glued to that now. It won't be for long, it'll, it'll pop off, it pops right off of it. Um, this is uh, coated with some um, whatever whatever they're coated with normally um, the same as a regular uh, clipboard but it's got uh, that coating so that things don't stick to it like this um, so you can like wipe things off of it pretty easily things like that you can like spill coffee on it it comes off easier you don't have to you, you didn't just stain your, your wood you know um, but because of that that uh, layer on there um, this will pop right off the glue will just pop right off 
Um, and it looks, oh, I can't even show you what it looks like. Now that I think about it, because I had glue on it, the uh, other flame had glue on it from the prop that I set it on top of. And I don't have another one because all the other ones I made were for other people. So, um, yeah, I, I'll show you guys when it's done though. So um, I'm going to let this, uh, you know, cool down and uh, I'll come back when it's cool. All right, and it's um, pretty dry, uh, cool or whatever. So it's pretty much done there. <clears throat> so what we're going to do next is going to hold down these to about the, the width of these two fingers, but not all the way apart. I guess it's about the width of these two fingers apart, but that kind of hurts. So set that, hold it upward like so. <clears throat> Together. and of course they're not even but whatever um, you might actually have to cut them even um, because they, they still are pretty long now that I think about it so let's cut these be even come on squish this hole here there we go we're gonna twist these at the very top so that they stick together Yeah, this is a little difficult. So, push that a little bit. Make tabs. There we go. Twist them together. Doesn't have to be good, just has to be, you know, stable. So, there is one side. And you're going to do the same to this side. Except, oh, these are really long. Holy shit. I made that one a little too long, I think. So, got this. Make this, in a little, make this a little bit longer. So, make sure they're just a little bit. So, that, that should work, just like that. Do this. Wrap it around both of those. Do this one and wrap it around both of those, or all three of those. And then hide the thing. Oh, and there you go. See, it popped off right there. Because like I was going to say, they just pop right off of the thing and uh, show you there's no glue marks at all. This is what the bottom looks like. You can see the kind of dark spots. That's where the glue is. Yep, it's, it worked perfectly. Exactly how I was wanting it to. It's exactly how you want it to work. All right. I'm going to take a get off into the excess glue. It uh, stayed on there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take glue dab Oops. and be careful about the heat the heat doesn't affect me anymore you might have uh, heard that in my Gohan shoe thing uh, this stuff doesn't usually burn me anymore because um, well first off I'm a guitar player so uh, I have calluses on my hands all the time from playing guitar so um things don't really hurt my hands much anymore but um you know whatever um but be careful don't uh don't hurt yourself pain is not really worth it um but if you can use like your nails or something or um if you have like well i guess don't use gloves either because it'll just glue to the gloves and it'll be completely pointless so all we're doing is just making little glue dabs and gluing the corners to each other that's literally all this is don't worry if it's off center it's the weight pushing it down the weight of the glue it's going to be more like that when you're done but don't worry about it oops that one didn't stay so if it doesn't stay it doesn't stay um it doesn't have to be perfect it's just literally this is just place holding it for right now um so what we're going to do next get all this glue off of our hands difficult pick it up carefully You'll notice it's already in the shape of the flame when you pick it up so now after you pick it up like this what you gotta do go inside see how deep inside I am right now yeah go like that dab it that'll hold most of it together and you can do it in a couple spots 
Um, just it depends on where your spots are. So um, this is kind of a a you thing. You guys got to figure that part out on your own because I can't tell you where things are going to go. So once you start getting it to the smaller pieces, you can start folding pieces over. A little dab of glue, just closing it all in on itself. You will have dark glue dabs, but um, when you're out and you're doing your um, your cosplay outside um, in the dark, where you're going to have the the lights, um, they aren't going to be as noticeable. Um, but the smaller the dab, the smaller your uh, visible dot is going to be. And blowing on it helps too. You can kind of see there, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a dark mark there. That's where the undried glue is. Just rub it a couple times and it starts to fade in. So we're almost done actually. A little tiny dab there. Oh, it came apart. That there. So that means that there was too many layers in between to put it together and not enough glue. So we're going to use glue again and dab it over. This time we're going to hold it the way it'll dry because that one obviously was not dry. Or why do I keep saying dried? I mean cooled. Uh, wait till it cools. So do that. It feels cooled off. Sort of. Do a little, another dab because it's not showing through so it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> and if you saw there, I pushed that end into there. Hopefully that um, helps keep it uh, from coming back undone. And um, putting a little bit of glue on the outside here because you can't really see the glue if you dab it on the outside. It's not as noticeable as when you uh, dab it on the inside and um, and it uh, comes through. <clears throat> so this looks uh, it looks a lot better, I guess. And when you're doing the top, just uh, a little bit. We'll glue it to another side somewhere. But quickly, yeah. There you go. There's a flame. And then what you're gonna do to turn it on? Um, once I get all this glue off my hands, because I don't want to get all the I don't get all the glue flakes um, all over it. <clears throat> One second here. All right. So you can still feel through it, and you can feel the thing is right there. So what you do is you find the side that has this side, it has the thing. Just push it up, and there you go. It's a flame. Yeah. Um, this side looks a, a little more flamish, I guess, because this side's um, still a little light. But um, it's better on this side because my room isn't actually as uh, bright as I want it to be. I mean, as dark as I want it to be. So. Um, Oh, see, even on camera, uh, now I'm looking at the camera, um, on the, on the screen of the camera, and it, uh, looks fine, um, so, in person, though, you can actually see the light bulb a little bit, but, um, yes, yeah, so that's how you make a flame, so hopefully you guys enjoy this tutorial, hopefully you guys go and, uh, share this tutorial, um, like I said at the beginning, there's a tutorial down in the description to my, uh, my text version, my text and picture version on DeviantArt. So if you guys want to go there, you guys can uh, uh, use that as a reference on how to do this too, because it's the exact same thing, and I actually give you the exact same um, method, except I use one wire, because it's a smaller flame on the one that I'm using there. That's a little handheld one. It's like that big. So, but just because that one's smaller, um, it uses one wire. So use two wires to make it bigger like this. And um, if you want to put this on your head like I am for Chandelure, um, I'm going to be putting a bigger one on my head. Let me turn this off so I don't burn the battery out. I'm going to be putting a bigger one on my head. I actually, um, I have this one. Um, I'm going to be taking these off because I learned that's a bad idea. And I'm going to tell you why. But this one, you know, same thing. Um, this one, it's a lot bigger, you can tell. Uh, this one's going on my scythe again because I've decided against my candle holder. And this one is going on... Uh, my head but these won't stay on so if you want to do that put it on the headband so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take right here and glue this to the headband take this 
you know, down or maybe even this way and take it down like, um, flatten it a little bit so that, or even make it kind of curve to the, to the headband and glue it down like that and then take all this off and then, um, that should, should work and look fine. Um, so yeah, if you're planning to put it on, on a headband, put it on a headband. Don't put hair clips on it. It doesn't stay. All right, that's it for this tutorial. And uh, if you guys want to see any more, like, subscribe, and I will have some more out. I don't know what my next one is, and I don't know when it's going to be out. So um, I have to think of something to make first. Um, it might be um, armbands, like bracelet-type armbands, uh, wristbands, you know, like that. Because those are simple, and I have the materials to make them. So like and subscribe again, and I will see you guys later.